In October 2018, the studio and gallery in Coburnie hosted Francesca Ewart's exhibition, A Dream of Flying. This was Francesca's second exhibition in our gallery. The first, The Birds Bear Gifts, being held in September 2017. Francesca's work has evolved as she explores the theme of birds interacting with women. So she decided to include a few paintings from a previous exhibition to provide context so that people could see how her work transforms as she finds other facets to investigate in her painting. Her work has a narrative basis and she constantly finds new approaches, new stories to depict. In my exhibition, A Dream of Flying, I'm trying to convey the feelings of women who are invited to accept the gift of flight from birds. I'm trying to ca capture the moment in which bird and woman communicate. The relationship between bird and woman, however, is complex, and so their expressions are ambiguous. The first section shows some of her work from 2017. Green Peace. Then, Heron Healing, Red Venom, and Badass Jaybird. In this painting, Strawberry Moon, a magpie is offering a woman a feather from the tail of a strawberry finch. In the woman's hair there is a crown of strawberries and within the mass of strawberries a little bug. And the bug and the fruit are the rewards that the birds would receive for the gift of the feather, which is the gift of flight. However, there is a downside. Because if you look very, very carefully, the magpie's claws are piercing the woman's skin in order to receive the feathers. So if she, if she accepts the gift, she will have to endure the pain. I was very honoured to have this painting accepted by the Royal Scottish Academy in this year's Open Exhibition. This group of five very detailed oil paintings provide the core for her new exploration of her theme. Three paintings in this series were accepted for the Paisley Art Institute Summer Exhibition. The larger central painting is called A Little Bird Told Me and we see a woman who is being whispered to by a firecrest which is one of the smallest birds. The woman's torso is made of stone and it gradually transforms into flesh and then the hair rises upwards to mingle with the clouds. Perhaps the secret that the little bird has told her has given her hope for a future that is less stonily earthbound. In Sweet Tears, the hummingbird is refreshed as it donates its feathers for the women's hair. In all these paintings, the dream of flying, if we dare to dream it, transforms and freezes.
In Feather Kiss, a little friar bird holds the tail feather of a starfish. Like most of my birds, these are Australian, and I'm indebted to the um, Western Australian Birds Facebook group, whose members have very graciously allowed me to use their images. Again, the friar bird is the deliverer of the feather and also the one who punctures the skin in readiness to receive it. The finch's reward is the woman's breath, or perhaps her life force. On the end wall of the gallery is a striking image of a crow gathering feathers falling from a bird in flight above. It engages the viewer with an intense gaze. Francesca further developed the idea of birds perching on precariously balanced towers of stones. She chose to use the rounded and sea-polished stones she found on beaches, often with bands of quartz. The three larger images incorporate jays, one of her favourite birds she liked to paint. Mm -hmm. 